Alan Blackwell is currently the E. Faye Jones Distinguished Professor of Architecture at the Faye Jones School of Architecture and Design at the University of Arkansas. That distinction was provided to him on the basis of two qualities, legacy and originality. Those were qualities that Faye Jones himself embodied. Marlon Blackwell embodies those same qualities. He has made his stand as an architect, as a practitioner, and as an educator in Arkansas, in the very same place that Faye Jones determined to make his stand. And in that context too, Marlon practices with originality, with inventiveness, with innovation, and distinguishes himself as an American original responsible to the legacy of the place in which he resides and responsible to the legacy of E. Faye Jones. As an architect, as a former student, as a friend, and as a citizen, I cannot imagine a more fitting recipient for the Faye Jones Gold Medal Award. Yeah, I felt like when I first met Marlon in 1990, I saw something in him that was, you know, I think the beginning of where he is now. Like I saw a potential, a drive, a dedication, a passion, uh, and, and it sort of, I felt that, I felt that inside. And, and I'm glad that 27 years later we're married and we have, you know, a family and a business that's successful and I am very proud of him. For the last 25 years that Marlon has uh, taught and practiced in Northwest Arkansas, um, he has uh, he's continued to uh, raise the level of architecture um, for our region, the state. He also has become um, uh, the face of architecture in Arkansas. Uh, there's another generation of architects out there that have uh, learned from him uh, and that he continues to mentor. Um, through their careers. For me, the, really the sign of a great architect is, is somebody that not only has their own, their own work, but, um, but really elevates the profession and, and improves the work of, of people around him. And I think Marlon is a great example of somebody that's done that for years, not only in our region, but the entire state. Well, I think Marlon is uniquely uh, qualified for the award because, uh, like Faye, uh, Marlon uh, is an excellent uh, teacher, as Faye was, and Marlon has uh, done such fine work that he's getting uh, international recognition, uh, of course uh, national as well, as did Faye. And I think in many ways, while their architecture is different, uh, that Marlon is the natural inheritor of uh, Faye Jones uh, in Arkansas and in the country. Marlon is the most, after Faye Jones, uh, I, think, I think Marlon has taken over the mantle of Faye Jones as the best architect in the state. Um, and he is, I think, establishing his own legacy uh, and in some ways comparable to that of Faye Jones. One thing he does that I think embodies Faye Jones's work is the use of natural light and using it as a material. My favorite piece of Marlon's work is the IMA Pavilion. It has a very striking form and I love the use of materials and natural light just like in all of his buildings. Um, he lets materials be used in a very graphic, powerful way as well as using light to show off the space and emphasize the, the shapes and the lines that he's created. You know, he's a gifted architect. He's got an amazing eye. Uh, he's a pit bull when it comes to getting great things done. Uh, but really, uh, Marlon's uh, interests in the world are so much greater, so much wider than just architecture. Um, and to, to share in that a little bit with him has been an extraordinary privilege. Marlon, I think the trait I admire most about you is the hospitality you have given me and others over the years. That is a trait I think Faye Jones had as well. Uh, the nights we've spent on your deck smoking cigars, drinking some adult beverages, and telling stories has meant the most to me. And I, I believe that's the reason uh, that you are as successful as you are. Uh, aside from his ability, I think his greatest strength 
is his absolute perseverance to make sure that everything that comes out of the office is as good as it can be. He never lets up. Marla and I were sitting in his office one day and he was stressing over a detail, a wood condition detail, how this the jointery would come together. And I looked at it and thought, well, there's several decent solutions, just select one. And he was just stressing so much over it in it, but it told me his care for the craft. And it's that kind of attention to architecture that makes Marlin's work extraordinary. The interesting um, thing about Marlin is he approached the conversation about the museum store in a, in a way that I had never worked with an architect before. We started with not just the desire and the needs, which I think is pretty typical in most projects, but he wanted to know about the guest. So when we started to focus on that guest experience and welcoming all, I think that Marlon just, his ideas and his vision just started flowing from there because then it became about how do we, um, how do we make our guests comfortable. Congratulations, Marlon, on this very prestigious honor. We could not be more happy for you. We are so thrilled with the work that you've done here in the museum store and the future work you'll do with us, and we couldn't be more grateful. Congratulations. I chose Marlon. Uh, he had two children in my school, so I always admired Marlon. And I went around and looked, at, uh, looked outside and inside at a lot of things that he designed. And after that, I felt like it was an easy choice. I think coming to work every day and watching other people come to work and other people bring their children in my buildings was magical. People just reacted to it, whether they, even if they didn't understand why they were reacting. Hey, Marlin, I'm so happy for you. And you might remember I stood in line as your groupie to have your book signed. So am I surprised that you've won this award? I'm just going to say, why did it take so long? Good evening, Marlin. Uh, I'm sorry I was not able to attend the ceremonies, but I wanted to congratulate you uh, with absolute conviction that you were the right person to receive the Faye Jones Gold Medal. Congratulations, Marlin on this deserved distinction. Marlon, I'm uh, really pleased that you've received the Faye Jones Gold Medal. Uh, I've known and uh, admired your work and enjoyed working with you for 20 years. Uh, well done, my friend. Congratulations, Marlon Blackwell. Well deserved. Marlon, true congratulations on this magnificent award. You're very worthy. Marlon, congratulations on the, uh, the Faye Jones Award. I can't uh, think of a more deserving um, recipient and uh, wish you well in everything you do in the future. Congratulations on winning the Faye Jones Gold Medal, Marlon. You deserve it. Marlon, congratulations for winning the Faye Jones Gold Medal, my friend. Very much deserved and exciting time for you and for all of us here in Arkansas. Marlon, congratulations on the, uh, the Faye Jones Medal. Uh, I look forward to seeing the next 25 years of your work. Uh, Marlon, there's a bear here up over my shoulder. Black Bear, I think, Wisconsin. We're both from Wisconsin. Uh, congratulations on the, the award. Uh, you've worked very hard for this and you deserve it uh, more than anybody can possibly know, really, uh, who isn't close to you. You have accomplished a lot and congratulations on your Faye Jones Gold Medal. We hope for the actual, you know, national AIA Gold Medal one day, but congrats. 